Why, hello you, and welcome back to Layers of Fear. Bring yourself a cup of tea, or something cozy. Don't drink something warm while you watch this. It is spooky, there are jump scares. It would not be the first time I got scared by something and spilled boiling tea all over my hot, hot, incredibly attractive body. Um, so yeah, join me for a game of Layers of Fear. And I, I forgot to mention in the very first episode, <laughs> if you're not wearing a headset or you don't watch this in full screen, I hate you. <laughs> we suffer together, okay? Because we're better together, okay? You and me. It's you and me. We suffer together. Everything is better together. Especially suffering is better together. Hey, that was okay. I thought the room was gonna fuck me. Sometimes they're just like, ah, 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 got you? Nothing there? There was nothing there? And then suddenly there will be something there? Or there will be nothing there. Oh, that's a rat. That was a rat. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I'm slowly getting like a nervous breakdown from this game. It is so difficult to make commentary that doesn't feel completely worthless when you're scared shitless. Squeak, 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 squeakity, squeak, squawk, squiggity, squawkity, squawk. Oh, I have to pee now. Okay. Hey, okay. Oh, I'm at I'm on the other side now. Hey, we made it. Um okay. I guess the door's locked. It was not locked. Hello? That is not blood. That is just a regular nice bathtub. With a baby in it. <laughs> Silent floaters. Is that the name of some kind of poop? Whatever. They clog the drains. Fur in the water. No baths for me. Well, why would you start showering now? Ooh, don't like the sound of rats. Don't like the sound of rats. There. Let's flood the place. That's like my biggest fear, is, oh, I saw this horror movie once, where uh, it was all about mirrors. When you looked in a mirror, something would creep up behind you. And um, I could not look in a mirror for like the longest time after that. I was terrified. Perfect. Perfect. After this, I won't be able to open any doors. Luckily, I don't have any doors in my apartment. Well, to the bathroom, obviously. Doesn't have to be open. I have cameras there anyway. I mean, what? The light switch. It does nothing. Oh! Should I have opened that? Hey, it's just a pantry. With a bit of glass on the floor. Is there nothing in here, really? Why is this room here? These rooms are just here to give you something so you feel like... ...a little bit more safe. And then they're gonna be like... Fuck you! Here's a scare. Just watch. Watch and learn, kids. I done did figure it out. Well, it turns something on. Where the hell is that light coming from? Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, now they're getting, they're slowly getting me to feel safe, right? It's a safe room. It's a locked door. I don't fucking trust you. One of these door. I think it switches on the light inside the room. 
Kom eens even voor elkaar, papa. Hallo? Okay. <gasps> There was something, I know it. Body borrows, feeding on me, driving me insane. Too fast to cut out. Oh! You know, like stuff crawling around under your skin so you can like see it. Oh, there was a big pet peeve of mine when I was young. Like a spider crawling into your ear and laying eggs or like... Oh, I read the... I don't know if it was real or not. But I read this thing about a lady who had a spider egg under her skin. And then suddenly when she was showering, the skin would break and like... So many spiders would just crawl out of her skin. Don't know if it was real. But just the idea of it terrified me. That's a lot of dolls. First one's the charm. Okay. Second one. Oh, they've got... They're making me feel real safe about dolls. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Of course I have to turn back. Come on. Oh. Don't touch tequila, kids. This is basically what it's like to be super drunk. It feels like someone warped the matrix. Hey, hey, we made it. I said it in the first episode. When we go down to the basement, we die. It's not too bad when we have light, though. Light actually makes everything feel kind of sort of okay. It's the, it's, it is the basement again. I don't... I don't think we had light last time. It helps. It's not as terrifying. Were you guys scared of the basement when you when you were children? I was not. I was scared of the staircase there because it had gaps in between. And one time when I was like five years old, my dad like reached in between the stairs and grabbed my ankle. Never ever have I forgiven him for that. Fuck, that terrified me. Did that just burn away? That's all just burning away. Is that a note? Dangling dread, patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. I have to turn down the music right now because there's like some bass and my headset is... My headset is pretty damn decent, so it's hurting my ears. My tender ears. Okay, we're going to the piano. The last piano we played in this game betrayed me. But you've betrayed me for the last time. For the last time, I tell you. This is kind of cool. Everything just lost gravity. This kind of feels really cool. Do I just walk back up the staircase? I definitely do. Everything just got fucking weird again. Oh, it really fucks with your head. Out of the basement, up to safety. No? Okay, I guess not. Screw safety, who needs safety? Basement is safe. It's a pretty melody. Ah, me and my big mouth. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the obviously. dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. You're a little bit insane, huh? If you want a real horror story, uh, read a story from my country. It's pretty recent as well. 
uh, there's a guy called uh, Peter Messen who has a submarine and this Swedish journalist uh, went to his submarine to interview him and while they were out sailing he cut her up into pieces and spread her around the ocean and claimed that he had just like like they just had done the interview and and he had sailed her back to the coast terrifying she had a boyfriend as well like imagine just like your spouse or whatever significant other just cut up and spread around the ocean it's so messed up actually don't read about it there's a terrible suggestion hey you want a bad time i'll show you a bad time me every time i invite some girl to bed with me hey you want a bad time i'm just kidding i'm actually excellent at sleeping there's gotta be something in one of these that change it at, at some point or it just resets every time you never know. All right, let's paint some more. Is it a swan? Definitely not a swan. It looked a bit like a swan for a second. Now I see a fish. If you turn your head to the left, definitely see a fish. What if you fail? Not an option. I hate even now. Lost, ho alone, hopeless. You always will be a grotesque mis- Oh, this is like fruit. Grotesque misunderstanding. Finish it. I am finishing it. I got the bones. <gasps> I guess we're halfway now. I guess we just need three more pieces of her or whatever. <laughs> totally normal. Alright. Ignore her. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll just ignore her then. <laughs> what the hell were you doing in here? No, there are going to be children involved. Oh, I don't like them much. My daughter did burn up, apparently. Oh, we've been in this room. Nope. Drunk. I wish. One of the, I don't trust the doors. One of them is going to fuck me. Selfish. Did she draw this? Delirious. Oh. What? <gasps> no, it's going to fuck with my head. My brain. My brain cell. My child is a bit messed up. Oh! That's pretty creative, though. No, that's not right. Try again. Don't give me that look. What do we do when we fail? We start over. You're better than this. Now sit down, and this time, let's make it perfect. Why do we fall, Master Wayne? Reminds me of Albert. Alfred? Alfred. Why do we fall, Master Wayne? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. Oh, you're a bit messed up, Mr. Perfectionist. Maybe you should leave your daughter alone so she can draw her pink pony. Hey, it's a teddy bear! Ha 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 ha! Oh! I'll save you, teddy! Hey, buddy! I'll get you out of this hot mess. <gasps> hey, it's a frown what is face. that? Wait, what day is it? Oh, it's a birthday. It's Sunday? You mean I... Oh, well, why didn't you come and get me? God damn it! You know how I get when I'm caught up in my work! There's a frowny face inside the birthday. It's okay, Chini. I save you. I'll get us out of this hot mess. <gasps> oh. Am I messed up? I give zero negative fucks about 
The children getting burned in this game, but teddy bear, ha ha ha. Everyone likes teddy bears. Children are a bit terrifying. Turn on the light. Marriage guide. Kids and marriage? No! <laughs> Expect the unexpected. The everyday magic of parenthood. Oh, now I'm, now I'm sweating. Feel the anxiety. <laughs> The new book by Molly Pierce is a must-read for parents who are expecting their first child and want to create a happy, healthy environment for the baby. Order now and receive a free set of motivational tapes, Strong Enough, Volume 1 and 2. Not strong enough. My girlfriend is so lucky. <laughs> Did you draw on the nice pregnant picture of mom? How dare you, man. No, you're not fam anymore. But dad, you're not. <laughs> if you have the time, go uh, go on YouTube uh, and subscribe to uh, Scrattle G. No, <laughs> go on YouTube and look up. Uh, what's it called? Dying? I think the video is just called Dying. It's this. Uh, it's a great video. Okay. Hey, there's a tie on that door. That means someone in there is having sex or wanking. I've been to college. Nope. Squeak, 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 squeakity squawk. Yeah, everything is kind of squeaking. <gasps> no, someone drew on the kitty. I don't like that. We don't like that, do we, Teddy? Nope. Someone was looking in through the window. Fuck me. Fuck me in the boot. Hello? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Jesus. Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's going to be a boy or a girl. They're kind of cute, I guess. Teeny tiny shoes. You know, when... Okay, considering how much I bash children, uh, <laughs> I, I, I work a lot uh, with children because I think it's interesting to follow their progression and help them help them educate themselves and, and make discoveries on their own. And there was this absolutely adorable girl. Well, she's like probably like six years old. At one point, when I didn't have some of the some of the bigger children, when I was uh, watching over some really tiny children, there's this one girl called Anemone, Anemone. Oh, she was so she had this purple. Um, we call it fluordracht in Danish, fl flying flying suit, which is stupid. It's like one of those like full body suits that children have. Oh, and she was adorable. You could barely see her face, and her she had like the tiniest feet, and she'd run over Stephen. Give a big hug. Oh, she was cute. She had shoes that looked like this. That's why I was reminded of it. Okay, I'm confused. I'm. Uh, we try the door. Yes. When you can't go forward, go backwards. I had to move most of the dolls out of her room. You can't just throw give. Okay, it was getting ridiculous. You can't just throw gifts at her whenever you feel guilty for whatever it is you feel guilty for. She needs a father, not another useless distraction. Hey, YouTube's been like a father to me. Except YouTube's not an alcoholic. It's Bo Burnham. The YouTube song. Whoa! That's what I get for stealing other people's content. Oh. That's some peculiar fire. Lice, mice, all bloody spots. Hair, not mine. Where are the scissors? Hey, it's Ratatouille. Let's make some... Uh, some food. Maybe some spagot. Anyone in here want some spagot? Nope. How about this way? Okay. Okay. 
So we keep the light on. Why are all the pieces vanishing? Okay. Huh. You beat me again. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I even bother. The suspense. Huh. Good thing we didn't bet on it. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Bet on it. Everybody's always talking at me. Everybody's gonna get in my head. Oh, that's what's beating! Oh! A heart beating can be so terrifying. It can also be very comforting. If you're laying on someone's chest and you can hear it, you kind of fall asleep to the rhythm. Or it can be fucking terrifying. It all, it all depends on the setting. Hmm. Death gate made out of chairs or normal way? Okay! And it's been drawn a bit around here, but I'd still, I'll still deem it normal, somewhat normal. Oh, that's pretty. Near the blueberry bush, the Emerald Creek. Emerald is a beautiful word and color. There once lived a duck who was a bit of a freak. Not content to just splash away in the rivers. She liked tearing out hearts and chewing on livers. Okay. Excuse me, but what the fuck? <laughs> that is not the ugly duckling. That's not the real story. Fuck, I can go both ways. But I choose death gate just for the hell of it. <laughs> I just fought it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was terrifying. Hello? If you could not touch me from now on, I would be ever so happy. Talking behind our backs. Then turn around. So many dabber sunglasses around. Look at all the pretty flowers. Hello? Some crayons. <gasps> oh, there's a teddy there. A cup of tea. She drew on all the furniture. What a messy kid. No wonder you burned her. Ah, I mean. Maybe some parents and par 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 parenting? P p p Suddenly we stutter. Maybe some parenting would, uh. Would be better. How the hell did you draw in. Okay. I'm not gonna question you. Considering there's a lot of dark magic going on. Okay. Gravity wants to bring me down. And gravity Gravity is working against me. Oh, it's as if the game can hear me. Like, oh, he doesn't like children. Well, fuck you. That's locked. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna open these just to see if there's something in it after the whole baby episode. Nope. Okay. Onwards towards new disappointments. Isn't this the lobby? Isn't this where we entered the house? No, the doors were just very similar, I guess. <gasps> hey! A little light in the house, no? 
That was apparently nothing. Video games have told me anything, it is that this would be something. But I guess not. Oh no. Brace yourselves. We can do this. Oh, what the fuck? That was weird. That baby is gonna do something. Hello? Okay, no? For realsies? That baby is gonna do something. <laughs> I'm on more appearing? More and more appearing. Hello, baby. Do we leave? We do not leave. Okay. Where is she? I feel like Batman interrogating the Joker in that light. Rachel! This is so mind fucking. Like this is actually just Are we gonna run after a little girl now? Oh this takes me back. Just kidding. I never actually chased a girl. It was a boy. No. <laughs> I'll see you guys around for the next episode. I appreciate any like or dislike that you have for me. And I'll see you in the next episode of Layers of Fear. By you.